Good morning, friends. Welcome to day three. Thanks for joining me. Today, we're going to go through the 26 and 2 postures. Uh, we're going to do a modified version. Um, you can call it Amanda's modifications. Um, so other names for this is Hot 26. It's the old Bikram, except we've, uh, over the years, it's evolved to make modifications so it's more accessible to everyone. Sorry, my dog is right in the front and my cat is in the side. Anyway, <laughs> so come to standing on your mat. You don't need any equipment today. Stand tall. Let your toes touch or your feet be about six inches apart. Press down through your feet. Engage through your thighs. Pull your belly button toward spine. Lift your chest. Flatten out your spine. Reach your arms long. Open through the chest. Make your neck long and your crown reach up to the sky. Close your eyes or soften your gaze. Take a big inhale through your nose. Exhale out mouth. Let it go. Again, inhale through nose. Exhale out mouth. Let it go. Last one like that. Inhale through nose. Exhale out mouth. Let it go. Re-engage. Pressing down through your feet. Engaging through your thighs. Your core. Reaching your arms low. Lifting your crown tall. We're going to take do some pranayama breathing. Pranayama means breath and life. So take a big inhale. Stand up tall. Exhale out mouth. Turn your palms toward the back as you exhale and drop your chin. Inhale. Bring your head back up to neutral. Maybe lift the chin a bit. Open the palms. Take a big inhale. And exhale out mouth. Inhale, palms open, chin lifts gently. Exhale out mouth. <sighs> Inhale through nose. Exhale out mouth. <sighs> Inhale through nose. Exhale out mouth. <sighs> Stay engaged. Inhale through nose. Exhale out mouth. Last one. Inhale through nose. Exhale out mouth. Now turn your palms forward. Re-engage your feet, your thighs, your navel, your crown lifted. On your inhale. Lift your hands up overhead. Lift your fingertips up tall and bend to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Lips together. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. And let your fingertips float down. Now keep your right hand at your side. Lift your left hand up overhead. I'm going to step up toward the back a little bit. Take a big inhale. Reach up. Keep your shoulders soft and plugged in. And reach your left arm across your body. Reach your right fingertips down. Roll open the left side of your heart. Make your biceps and triceps strong. And reach a little more. Pressing down through your feet. Three deep breaths. Close your lips. One. Two, three, inhale, reach your right arm up, let your left hand come down, take another inhale, reach your right arm long, get long through the right side of your body, and then exhale across, three deep breaths, one, press down through your right foot, press down through your left foot, open the right side of your heart, two, three, inhale, reach up. Exhale, let your fingertips float down. Nice. Now we're going to do an uh, awkward chair. So stand with your feet about six inches apart. I'm going to turn to the side. You can stay toward the front. So your heels are under your hips. Stand up tall. Take a big, deep breath. 
exhale bring your hands out in front of you send your hips back your weight is in your heels you should be able to lift your toes and sit them back down knees over ankles hips settle down a little more back is as straight as possible chin tucked crown lifted engage your biceps and triceps fingertips have lots of energy navel pulled in pelvic floor engaged three deep breaths close your lips one two three inhale slowly rise up come up on your toes pause there engage through your thighs back straight take another big inhale exhale slightly bend your knees just as much as feels good to you but keep your heels lifted one your back is straight like it's leaned against a wall two three inhale come back up exhale lower your heels now keep your arms out straight let your knees come together so your feet are about still about six inches apart but your knees are together take a big inhale stand up tall and then exhale lower back down option oh stand back up for a second keep your knees together lift your heels one inch now take a big inhale and lower back down just as much as feels good to you you can stop right here or lower all the way down you can bring your heels your heels are still lifted you can bring your fingers to the earth so you're in a toe stand you can keep your fingertips down for balanced in this modified version or lift your fingers in front of you point your knees down engage through your core navel pulled in three breaths one two three in this modified version you can put your fingertips back down and lift back up and slowly rise back up take a big inhale exhale let it go all right next posture eagle pose we know this one so stand with your toes touching or your feet about six inches apart inhale reach your arms up overhead exhale lower your arms right arm comes under left crossing at the elbows you can put the back together or you can hold onto your shoulders if you're muscly or have a large chest sometimes this is more comfortable or you can double wrap i'm going to do the backs of hands pressed together today i'm going to turn to the side so your elbows are pulled down in this version take a big inhale stand up tall exhale sit down in your chair weight in your heels on your next inhale lift your right knee and put your toe down on the floor squeeze your knees together pull your elbow elbows together squish elbows wrist hands together navel pulled in sit down a little more three breaths one two three inhale rise back up Ooh, i'm a little tilty and set it back down and hands by your side other side inhale fingertips rise up exhale left arm under right crossing at the elbows backs of hands come together or hold on to shoulders inhale stand up tall exhale sit down in your chair chair weight in your heels slowly lift your left foot up cross it over bring your left toe on the mat squeeze your knees together and your ankles together your elbows together the wrist and your hands pull down with your shoulders one close your lift two and three inhale rise up unfold unfurl and exhale hands to heart center and down by your side next one in the modified version we're continuing our balance so let's begin with hands on hips in um in our next class we're going to progress to head to knee but today we're just going to lift our knee so shift your weight to the left bend your right knee on your inhale lift your right knee and hold on to your right knee hug it towards your chest flex your foot engage your left thigh close your lips one two 
three, set your knee back down. On your next inhale, lift your left knee, hug it into your chest. Engage your right thigh, hug your left knee in close. Soften your face and shoulders. Three deep breaths. One, two, three. Set your knee back down, very nice. Next posture, dancer. Bring your left hand to your left hip. Shift your weight into your left foot. Bend your right knee. Think about that a second. Bring your right hand out to the side. So we're going to reach down and pick up our right foot in our hand. So as best you can, if you need to stand near a wall, do it. This is your practice. So we begin with our knees touching and right foot pressing in to right hand. Hold on to the big toe side of your foot. If you can't reach it, then just hold on to the outside, the little toe side. The goal is to hold on to the inside of your foot. So here we are. Lift your left hand tall. Soften your shoulders. Left bicep by left ear. Press your foot into your hand and begin to reach apart. Pressing on your inhale, reach long. Exhale, press your foot into your hand. When you bend as far as you can, hold there and breathe three breaths. One. If you fall out, come back in. Knees together, hand and foot, and reach. One, two, three. Inhale back to standing and set your right foot down. Shake it off, let it go. We're going to see how much better we get at these postures over time as we develop this concentration and strength. So here we go, other side. Shift your weight into your right leg. Bend your left knee. So right hand is on right hip. Left palm out to the side. Take a big inhale. Pick up your left foot and hold it in your left hand. Bring your knees close together to begin. Square off your hips and shoulders toward that short edge of the mat. Reach your right arm up overhead. Bicep is by right ear. Take a big inhale, reach long, and begin pressing your foot into your hand. Once you get as far apart, reaching, this feels good to you. Engage through your right thigh. Keep pressing with your hand. Close your lips and breathe three deep breaths. Three ujjayi breaths. One, two, three. Slowly come back and sit it down. And then stand tall. Stand as still as you possibly can. Take a big inhale. Exhale, open your mouth, let it go. All right. Dancer pose. Now we're going to do walking sticks. So stand at the back of your mat. This is just a version of warrior three. So inhale, reach your arms up overhead, biceps by ears, In, interlace your hands and release your first finger. So your arms are as straight as possible, right by your ears. Engage your thighs, engage your belly button, pick up your right foot, and step forward, left foot behind you. Take another big inhale, stretch your body long, and then begin lifting your back leg and reaching forward with your front arms. When you get as far reached as feels good to you, breathe. One, keep reaching. Two, top of your foot, turn down toward the mat. Three, and step back, take a big inhale. Exhale, let your hands float down, take a break. Other side, inhale, fingertips rise up, interlace, release your first finger. Maybe you change your grip. Weight is in your left leg. Take a big inhale. Step forward with your left foot, right foot behind. Think about the top of your foot, saying turn down toward the mat. Inhale, reach long, lift your back leg. Keep reaching. Close your lips, begin to breathe. One, two, 
three, step back, inhale, exhale, let your fingertips float down. Now come to the center of your mat, step out wide. We did this yesterday. <clears throat> Take a big inhale, reach out, arms in a big T, fill up your lungs. Exhale, forward fold, slight bend in your knees to keep from hyperextending your knees. Bring your hands down and hold on to your ankles. On your inhale, stretch your spine long. On your exhale, bend your elbows. Lay your chest fall between your legs. Let your sacrum a little taller. Three breaths. One. Two. Three. On your inhale, rise back up halfway. Stay there for an exhale. And on your inhale, bring your hands to your hip creases. Rise all the way up. Stay right here. Turn your right toes to the short edge of your mat. Keep your hips even. Reach your arms out wide again. Inhale, fill up your lungs. On your exhale, bend your right knees. Bend as a unit and let your right hand fall in front of your right knee. No blocks today. <laughs> Once you arrive, roll open the left side of your heart, reaching your arms directly apart. In this, in this, uh, this is side angle. Uh, in this type of yoga, 26 and 2, it's also called their version of triangle. So breathe. Three breaths. One, two, three. On your inhale, rise back up. Straighten your right leg. Turn your toes so your foot is parallel to the edge of the mat. And then turn your left toes to the short edge. Take a big inhale. Fill up. Exhale. Bend your left knee so knee is over ankle. Bend as a unit, stretching your arms apart. Gaze goes up to your thumb, really holding that knee open with your left elbow. Strong right leg, strong left leg. Three breaths. One, two, three. Really press through your left foot, rise back up. Straighten your left leg. Turn your toes back to the center. Let your hands drift down to your side. Tick tock your feet in so that you are about two feet apart. And we're gonna turn all the way, feet, toes all pointed toward the short edge of the mat. So here we go. This is a version of pyramid. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. So your right foot is in front, first go. Left foot is in back. So make your hands flat, like in prayer. You don't have to interlace on this one. Soften your shoulders. Make your arms straight as possible. Engage through your thighs. Take a big inhale, fill up. Keep your hips even, and exhale, bend forward. From here, bend your front knee. Keep going. Fingertips come all the way to earth. You can separate your hands to either side of your foot. Bring, bend your knee so that your nose will touch it. Once you arrive there, you can start to straighten your knee. It probably won't go all the way straight. Even out your shoulders, even out your hips. Three deep breaths. One, two, three. Now bring your hands back together. Press through your front foot. Press through your back foot. Squeeze your belly to rise all the way up. And then turn to the front and turn to the other end of your mat. Your palms are still pressed together, thumbs wrapped, shoulders soft, engage through your thighs, hips even. Take a big inhale. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Keep your hips even. Don't let one cock out to the side. Once you get about halfway, begin to begin that, bend that front knee till your nose can touch. You can separate your hands for balance. And then begin to straighten your leg, front leg as much as possible. Soften your shoulders away from your ears. Think about your hip creases being on the same plane. Close your lips and breathe. One, two, three. Bring your palms back together. Wrap your thumbs. Press through both feet. Squeeze your belly button in and rise all the way back up. Exhale. Turn to the front and let your fingertips float back down. Very nice. 
Our next posture is tree. In this modified version, we're going to shift our weight to the left, bend your right knee, and keep your toe on the ground. Option to raise your foot flat against your calf or inner thigh if you want. Bring your hands to heart center and breathe. Strong left leg, navel to spine, pull everything to the midline. One, two, three. Inhale, knee back front and set it down. Shift your weight to the right, bend your left knee, open it out to the side. Press your palms together, press everything toward midline. Close your lips, lift your crown tall to the sky, engage that right thigh, navel pulled in, everything pulled into the middle. One, two, three. Inhale your knee back to center and set it down. Inhale, fingertips rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center and down by your side. So, um, the next posture is um, tree pose into a toe stand. So for today, we're just going to lower into our toe stand. Uh, I want to show you how to do it so you know in the future in case you don't want to do the toe stand with us. So take a big inhale and exhale. I'm going to forward fold, let your fingertips come down to the earth, and then bend your knees. From here, we're going to try the balance. You can stay just like this or bring one hand to your chest and the other hand to your chest. Squeeze your knees together, lift your chest as tall as possible, and breathe. One, two, three. Bring your fingertips back to the earth, lift your hips tall. You can take a half lift and bring your hands back to your hip creases, and inhale, rise all the way up. From here, Step down to the end of your mat, turn your toes out, and lower yourself down. You can pause in Malasana or just sit down on your bottom. If you need to, bring your hands down first, then lower your knees if that's easier for you. Or just slowly comes down into Malasana. Once you arrive, pause there for a breath. And then bring your hands around behind you and slowly lower back onto the mat and take a mini shavasana see how still you can be for three breaths close your lips one two three now i have to use my cheat sheet sorry guys okay knee to chest inhale right leg rises exhale hug your knee into your chest either in toward the midline or you can let it fall out to the side let your right foot be floppy flex your left foot a little bit soften your shoulders and face and take three deep breaths one two three inhale foot heel rises exhale slowly lower it Engage your core all the way down. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, hug your knee into your chest or out to the side. Let your foot be floppy. Left foot floppy, right foot engage. Three deep breaths. Hug it in tight. One, two, three. On your inhale, press your left heel up to the sky, and on your exhale, slowly lower it down to the earth. On your next inhale, lift both heels up, and on your exhale, hug both knees into your chest, holding on to your wrist, forearms, or elbows. Press your low spine toward the mat. Hug your knees in close. Let your feet be floppy. Relax your face and shoulders. Close your lips. Three ujjayi breaths. On your inhale, press your heels up tall, palms flat on the mat. 
exhale. Engage through your belly button. Lower your heels as slowly as possible. Now we're going to sit up. This is part, this is one of the actual postures, one of the 26 postures. So I want you to keep your heels flat on the mat. If you have a bad back and you know this might bother it, you can just roll over on your side and sit up. For the rest of you who want a little core work, I want you to keep your heels on the mat. Raise your fingertips up overhead. Take a big inhale, stretch long, hands flat on the floor overhead. On your exhale, slowly roll up. Keep your heels engaged on the floor and exhale as you come forward. And inhale back up to seated. All right, how was that? Yay. All right, so from here, come over onto your belly and we'll do our back bending series. So from here, hands under wrist, elbows hugged in. So your palms under shoulders and then slide them back along your rib cage. Hug your elbows in. Press down with your feet. On your inhale, lift up. Hold it. Three breaths. One. Shoulders soft away from ears. Two. And three. Take a big inhale. And exhale lower. Turn your head to the right. Send your palms out beside you. Take a break. Hold as still as possible. Eyes open, focused on a spot in your living room. Two more breaths. Now bring your chin back to chest. Turn your palms down toward the mat. Keep engaged through your, um, so let your left leg be floppy, not engaged. Just wobble it around there. So we're going to really just work our right leg this time. So point your right toe. Remember, left leg is floppy. And lift your right leg. Really reach your toe long toward the back wall like you're going to push a button on an elevator. Chin stays down toward the mat. One, two, three. Lower it back down. Turn your head to the left. Three breaths. Now bring your chin back to the mat. Let your right leg be floppy. Point your left toe. Lift your left leg up behind you. Three breaths. Really pressing down with your palms. One. Two. Three. Lower your left leg. Turn your head to the right. You can let your palms go up. Take a little break. Be as still as possible. Three breaths. Now bring your chin back to the chest. Zip up your leg. Press the tops of your feet into the mat. Turn your palms flat down on the mat. On your inhale, lift both legs off the mat, pressing down with your hands, reaching your spine long. Toes are touching, legs are zipped up. Close your lips, three deep breaths. Lift a little taller. One, two, three. Lower them back down. Put your palms so that they're up. Turn your head to one side or the other, to the side you didn't turn to last time. Close your lips. Hold perfectly stale. Let your heart rate come back to normal. Now, chin comes back to mat. This one's not so bad. Reach your arms out to the side in that big T. We did this yesterday, I think. This is full locust. So zip up your feet. Press the tops of your feet into the mat. Again, no space between your legs whatsoever. On your inhale, lift your head, neck, and shoulders. On your next inhale, lift your feet. Point your toes. Close your lips. Soften your shoulders, but lift up some more. Lift your gaze. Lift your head. Lift everything. Close your lips. Three more breaths. One. Every breath, lift a little taller. Two. Three, and settle back down. Hands come back to your side, palms up. Look the other way. Be perfectly still. Let your heart rate come back to normal.
bring your chin back to chest, last one. So um, this is called floor bow. I'm gonna do the left side first. This is the modified version. So bend your left leg, reach your left arm around and hold on to your left top of your left foot. Reach your right fingertips. You can put the backs of your palms down on the mat if you want. On your inhale, press your foot against your hand, chill your chest lift, lifts up. Hold it, three breaths. One, two, three. Set it back down, release, turn your head the other way. So don't let your knees splay out. It can put too much tension on um, the ligaments in your knees. Keep them sort of hugged in toward the midline. Other side, bend your right leg. Bring your chin to your uh, mat. Reach your right hand around behind you. Hold on to the top of your foot or your ankle. Press your foot into your hand till you lift your chest off the mat. Hold it there. Pressing your foot into your hand, your hand into your foot. One, two, three. Lower back down. Turn your head the other way. Open your palms to the sky. Take a break. Be as still as possible. Regain as much energy as you possibly can. Now bring your chin back to chest. Bring your palms under your shoulders. Press up through tabletop. And lie down on your back. From here, we're going to do another sit-up. So you can either roll on your side and sit up again. Keep your heels pressed on the mat. Reach your hands up overhead. Take a big inhale. And no jerking. Make this really slow and smooth. Take a big inhale. Exhale. As you exhale, round up and lift without letting your hips come off. Exhale as you go forward. All right. So from here... Come over onto your knees. This posture is called uh, fixed and firm. So in our modified version, we're just really going to sit on our knees. If that's not possible for you, you can come over onto your hands and knees. Uh, I'm looking for a little bit of stretch on the front side of your ankles. And if that's too much for you, if you're a runner, have a really tight through your ankles and the fronts of your legs, you might not be able to do it. Everyone else, sit up tall, open through your chest. Sitting back on your heels, let your fingertips come back up behind you, open your chest and breathe. This is our modified version of Six Fix and Firm. We'll progress and do, do it a little differently next time. Close your lips. Three deep breaths. One, two, three, and come back up. From here, we're not going to stay long on our ankles. We're going to do half tortoise. So bring your hands up overhead. Press your palms together. Wrap your thumbs, your palms and fingers. Uh, they're not interlaced. They're flat against each other. Soften your shoulders, but make your arms as straight as possible. Keep them up by your ears. Take a big inhale. Fill up your lungs. Lift your rib cage out of your pelvis. And on your exhale, hinge at the hips, lowering your forehead and your hands toward the mat, keeping your hips low on your heels. See if your forehead can be the first to touch before your hands. Uh, and then set the blades of your hands down. On your inhale, reach your arms long and press your hips back on your ankles. One more time, inhale, reach long, and exhale, set your hips back on your ankles. Still pressing your palms together, lips together. Three more deep breaths, strong arms, soft shoulders. One, two, three, Squeeze your pelvic floor, pull your belly button in, and on the inhale, use your core to lift you back up to sitting. And exhale, let your fingertips float down. How is that? <laughs> it's not too bad. 
Okay, so our next one is camel. So come up on your knees. You might need a cushion under your knees. Uh, you can keep your feet flat or curl your toes under for balance. This is our, mo our modification uh, of camel. It's still camel. Inhale, reach your right arm around and point your fingertips down like they're going in your back pocket. Inhale, reach your left arm up and reach it around and put it uh, on your hips, on your, the, your low back. Press your elbows towards each other so you're opening your chest. Take a big inhale, fill up your lungs. And exhale, press your hips forward, lifting your rib cage out of your pelvis. Lean back. Don't let your knees splay out. Close your lips. Three deep breaths. One. We're trying to make a C with our spine. Two. And three. On your inhale, slowly come back up and sit back down on your heels. Pause there. If your heart rate is beating fast, take some deep breaths and let it come back to normal. And we'll think about doing our next posture, which is rabbit. So bring your hands around to your heels. You're still sitting on your knees. Your thumb is on the outside. Take a big inhale, fill up your lungs. Let your Chin come to your chest, start rounding, 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 till just your hair touches a mat, not your head, just your hair. Then hold on to your heels. Don't let any weight go in your head, just your hair is touching. Lift your hips. So you get this big, strong stretch through your, the back, your upper back, your traps, and a little bit of your lats. Keep your belly button engaged to your spine, three deep breaths. One, two, three. Slowly lower your hips back down. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. And exhale, let them float down. And we're almost done. Let's see what's next. Can't read that. Seated twist, but first, hmm, John, use your chasana. So sit on your bottom, send your right leg long. Your left and uh, sole of foot is pressed on the inside of your right thigh. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Make a little basket. Make your arms straight and your shoulders plugged into the sockets. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Fold over. Maybe your palms just come to your shin. Maybe they touch the floor. Maybe you can reach all the way around your foot. It doesn't matter. I'm going to pause right here with my hands on my ankles, shoulders square, crown reaching, spine can be rounded on this one. Deep breaths. One, two, three. Inhale, reach your arms all the way back up. Change legs, left leg goes long, right foot flat against your left inner thigh. Take a big inhale, square off your shoulders to over your left thigh. And on your exhale, fold forward. Maybe your hands come all around your foot, or maybe you just hold on to your ankle. Soften your shoulders away from the ears. Let your chin go to your chest, and let your spine round. Let yourself hang there. Three breaths. One, two, three. Engage your core, engage your pelvic floor. On your inhale, rise right back up. And exhale, let your fingers float down. So send your legs long. Now we're going to do that seated twist again. So take your right leg, cross it over the left. So you can leave your left leg long. If you know your hips don't reach the mat, or you can curl it under. Right foot flat. Left knee on the bottom, right knee on the top. Inhale, fingertips rise up. Exhale, turn to the right and lower your hands. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, turn to the right. Hold it there. One, two, three. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, let your fingers come down. Send your right leg long. Cross your left leg over. I'll leave my leg straight so you can see. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, turn to the left. Lower your right elbow outside your left knee. Inhale, sit your spine up as tall as possible. Three breaths. Close your lips. Find your ujjayi breath. 
Use your breath to enhance your stretch. On your inhale, reach up. Exhale, let your hands float down. All right, last thing, Kapalbhati breaths. So sit up on your knees. If this is not comfortable for you, sit on a block or sit crisscross applesauce. It doesn't matter. Breath of fire. Uh, we'll do a round of about 20. Let's see what our time is. Ooh, we're out of time. So bring your hands to your belly. We're going to breathe out the nose. The inhale happens automatically every time, so you're really pressing outwards uh, with the breath out the nose. So take a big inhale and begin. One more round, a little faster. Inhale and begin. Nice. Take a big inhale, reach up. Exhale, let your fingers float down. Come onto your back. Find the Shavasana that's comfortable for you. Send right leg long, send left leg long. Open your palms to the sky. Adjust your shoulder blades. Let your feet flop outward. Begin to relax. Let waves of relaxation just roll over your toes and your feet and your ankles, your lower leg, your thighs, your belly, your chest, your whole backside. Relax your hands and arms. Relax your neck, your jaw, and your face. Time to complete stillness. Relax your body to relax your mind. Still your body. Not even a twitch. Hold perfectly still. <clears throat> And the verse of the day, I forgot to bring it over here, but it's Hebrews 4.16. Come boldly before the throne of our gracious God. There you will find his mercy and you will find grace just when you need it most. Namaste and blessings, friends.